A few weeks ago, I was greeted by a very unexpected email. Hi, Mimulus Copyright Content has been detected in your video. We watched Jack Doherty. The visibility of your video is not impacted, but you can no longer monetize it. The copyright owner is now either monetizing it or receiving analytics about it. This is not a copyright strike. It does not affect your channel. So what this meant was that Jack Doherty was making all the money that my video was generating. Now, this was not a correct claim. There's things such as fair use and fair dealing, which allow for parts of copyright content to be used in the context of criticism commentary. Obviously, it's like a case-by-case -case basis. But the video I made about Jack Doherty certainly fell under fair use. So anyway, I tweeted, Hey team YouTube, Jack Doherty is abusing YouTube's copyright system by claiming videos that are clearly not infringing on his rights to farm revenue. Now this tweet got a bit of traction to the point where Jack Doherty, the man, the myth, the legend himself replied with, That's not me claiming those videos. Now I reckon that he is bullshitting here and let me tell you why. If I had a nickel for every time this exact situation has happened, I'd have two nickels. But it's strange that it's happened twice. A couple years ago, I had a situation with another channel that I made a video about where they didn't like what I had to say about them and they got a third party company to claim the video, meaning they received the revenue. This is exactly what Jack's done here. As you can see here, the content owners is a company called Superbam. I looked them up. They're like a third party that people can go to to, I guess, claim YouTube videos and stuff. Now, how this situation that wasn't to do with Jack panned out was I appealed the claim. The claim got rejected and how YouTube works is if you appeal a second time to a, a copyright claim, if they reject it, I, I believe it's if they reject it, a strike gets applied to your channel, which is really bad. And now this YouTuber, he was gloating on Twitter about it. He was bragging about, you know, potentially striking my channel, taking money from my video away. But the second he got a bit of backlash about it, he was like, oh no, it wasn't me. I, I had nothing to do with this. I had nothing to do with this. It was my network. I, I swear, I swear, I didn't do it. I'm just a little guy. However, the situation with Jack admittedly was a lot easier. The claim was released a couple of hours afterwards. However, based on my past experience, these companies don't just go out and claim videos willy nilly. From what I can tell, they have to be instructed first to go out and and do this. But he hasn't stopped being a little dweeb. If anything, he is going full throttle with the dislikable little shit persona. How many square feet is it? 13,000. Send me the link to it on Zillow. Alright, I'll send it to you. Alright, peace. Alright guys, I'm getting the Island Boys address. You already fucking know. Go pull up on them. No security. So if you can't tell, in this video, Jack Doherty is going uninvited to the Island Boys house. And if you don't know who the Island Boys are, I envy you. They're, um, hang on, I'll, sh I'll show you who they are. They are, uh, these yeah, fucking freaks. I don't really know what they're known for. All I know about them is that they've posted photos of them kissing each other and their brothers. Yeah, weird freaks but I always find it funny how, how Jack puts on this big tough guy act like, oh, I'm gonna pull up to their house. Do what? That's <laughs> it, what? He even said something right after that clip about not bringing security with him. No, we're just gonna pull up. Fuck security gonna do. Oh bloody hell, Jack. You are you are such a brave boy. Going to someone's house without security. You may as well be trekking through World War One no man's land. We're not gonna get out of the car, bro. We don't have Still. to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Epically owning the island boys by parking outside of their house. Oh, that's fucking class, mate. That's a great video idea. That is a banger. Do an explosion. I FaceTime bitch. I'll be like, send the you pussy. He hung up. Yo, the island boy has the most mid fucking bitches too, bro. I hate everything that comes out of this dickhead's mouth. The island boy has the most mid bitches too. What the fuck? What the fuck are you on about, Jack Doherty? Why are you talking like that? I bet your mother didn't teach you to talk about women like that. He knows she's mid. He said it to my face. She's like, yeah, I know, but it's whatever. If you call your own bitch mid, you're the L at the end of the day. You see what I mean? Only the worst sentences ever devised come out of Jack Doherty's mouth. I've never heard anything he said and thought, you know what? He's actually spot on about that. It's all the worst, most unintelligible things you've ever heard another human say. Half the sentences that crawl out of his mouth are just L this, W that, mid this. He speaks how children on the internet type, but in real life. You know you have a mid bitch and you're cool with it. W, no security, duh, motherfucker. I'm not a pussy. Fuck out of here. Shut up, mate. Speak English. Yo, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, I have no security. Hey, girls at the front door. The Island Boys have STD from fing each other in the ass. They're turning blue. Hey, f you. <laughs> Wow, big tough man, shouting from your car. But in fairness, he did not bring security. So I guess it is a big risk. Like there's only about six of you in this car. This is a highly dangerous activity. Michael, go, go, drive, drive. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Michael, go, drive, Michael, drive, drive. What's that all that you wanted to do? Drive all the way to their house to shout an insult from the inside of a car on the street and then just speed off. You went all that way for that. And now he's panicking because the driver just won't go. And fair enough, if I was the driver, I'd do the same thing because it is very funny. Don't hurt me. I know I talk a lot of shit dog but I'm scared now. 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you're, you're not kidding. You are fucking petrified. And I can't lie, I would be too. There's no shame in being scared of a big, scary man. There only is if you're playing the big man. You guys are cool. I want you guys to be my security team so the island boys have no security. Okay, being real, why, why do all these idiots need security? Why do the island boys need round-the-clock security? They're not Mark Zuckerberg. I doubt there's people out to get them. 99.999% of the population have no idea who they are. And if they do, they do not care one bit about them. Are they literally just hired to protect them from Jack Doherty? If so, that would be fucking hilarious. Like, they're just constantly on high alert, patrolling the property, keeping an eye out for Jack Doherty. Also, just look at that house. Why are these loser influencers so shit with their money? Like, there is a very slim possibility they own that house. They, they're definitely renting it. Why do they need to rent a house that much? I don't know. This is a, a separate tangent. It's American influencers, isn't it? They just baffle me with how poor... All they are with their money. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> Fuck. He's just skedaddled <laughs> over and bared his teeth. What is wrong with this lot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a bitch. You came here for clout. Oh, hell no. Nah. You came they, here they, for clout. They, they, no one's heard about them. You came no here for clout. Shit tier influencer arguments are like the lamest thing ever. They always have something to do with either money or relevancy. Hey, no. You're you're See what I mean? <laughs> now, this next little clips I'm going to show you are from a totally different video uploaded uh, a week or two after the one I just showed you called My Girlfriend Got My Name Tattooed on Her Neck. All right, guys. So we are live on Kick right now. We're streaming, but McKinley might get my name tattooed on her today. The best boyfriend ever. And there's no one better than me. So it's like, obviously, she wants to get my name tattooed on her. Come on. Now. Yeah, of course. Who wouldn't want to get a tattoo dedicated to probably the worst streamer slash YouTuber to come out of the last five years? Claire, remember you were about to get my name tattooed on you? No, I was in full set. Wait, what the fuck what is going on here? I can't tell if he just surrounds himself with the most outrageously impressionable people that meet someone they like and go, oh, I, I like him. I should get his name permanently etched into my skin. Thus being a part of me forever. Or maybe he's doing a bit of subliminal messaging here and there, spelling out get Jack tattooed on you with alphabet -y spaghetti. I really have no idea why two people have felt compelled to get this dickhead's name tattooed on them. He, he's not even likable. No one in my 25 years on this earth has come up to me and gone, George, I want to get I want to get your name tattooed on me. And I feel insulted. Am I just very disliked by everyone on me? Is this a normal thing? They also have laser tattoo removal. Oh yeah, that's a good sign before you even got the tattoo going. Oh yeah, well, there's always laser removal. That's always an option. I only want you to do it if you want to do it. If you think I'd be with you. I do think you'd be with me. Then why wouldn't you get my name tattooed on you? $55,000 a month crib, four Lambos, and no fucking neck tap, but the Island Boys fucking suck each other's dicks and they, their girlfriends do it in a heartbeat. Ah, so this is why people have felt compelled. Oh, well, you, you won't get your name telling me what about the house I house you in? What about all my cool cars? Huh? I drive you around in those cars to um, the shops and that. God, I treat you to all this stuff. You won't even get my name tattooed. Not even a little tattoo of my name. God, you know, it's fine if you don't do it, but you know, you know, it, you take the piss a bit. From what I can tell, it seems like he sees it as some sort of accomplishment to have his name branded on a woman. Like, why else would you want someone's name tattooed on you? He's not getting her name tattooed on him, so it's not like a, I don't know, like a commitment thing. I mean, this ain't gonna look good on her. <laughs> That's not going to look good on her. That's enormous. Wait, we got my girlfriend and we got my maid right here. What are you guys doing today? Getting your name taken yeah, there's no way there was manipulation, financial or otherwise, involved in this decision here. This maid just very much loves cleaning up after Jack Doherty and has chosen, without being pressured at all, to get his name permanently inscribed onto her arm as a massive tattoo. Yeah, your mom has my name tattooed on her now. She's my mom now. I'm her favorite child. She doesn't even have your name tattooed on her. Oh, does that make your daughter feel bad? Probably. Oh, so okay. If my mom, one, got Jack Doherty tattooed on her and two, allowed Jack Doherty to speak to me like that. She would no longer be my mother. I don't know what the term for putting your mom or dad up for adoption is, but I would do that. No joke, that's like the f***ing best tattoo I've ever had. You must have some absolute howlers. All right, I'm done. It's done? It's done. All right, guys, McKinley yeah. just got my name tattooed on her neck. Should we call your parents and see what they have to say? Okay, it's quite small. No one will probably ever see it, but you still have to live with the knowledge that you have a tattoo dedicated to Jack Doherty. But there's another thing I wanted to talk about real quick. So this YouTuber, uh, Jabroni, pointed this out, and I hadn't noticed it before, but if you go on Jack's channel, so his channel is basically built on shorts. That's where he gets most of his views. And if you go to the comments on Every single one of the okay, let's watch one of these TikToks just as an example of what it's like. This is just the most recent one. Yo, what do you guys do for a living to afford all these cars? I'm a boxer. Oh, 
Like, you could, like, kiss guys. You guys do this to me on camera every time. Like, you guys don't do anything better than me. You guys literally all sell your pics online. Go fight some. Fight you whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the editing, it's it's clear this content is for kids. It's clear. Let's watch another one just to be certain. One in every four people find hidden cameras in hotels, Airbnbs, and even public. But that got me thinking. Just how hard is it to spot one? My friend Caitlin has been locked in her room. Okay, so, like... Nobody over the age of 17 is watching videos like this. Let's just be realistic. And in the comments of every single one of these videos is this comment. Check out our spicy content in IG bio. And he tags all the Like, you're advertising what is essentially porn to children. That's fucked up, man. How is that? How is this not been taken down by YouTube? Is it because he hasn't directly linked it? But still, you like, surely promoting porn to kids. That's not good for the platform. I'll scroll through. I'll scroll through just to show you. Like, I'm not bullshitting. Every single one. Look, right there. Another one. Another one. Yeah. It's insane. I spent $10,000 on toys for kids when a random hater said this. People following someone around is kind of creepy. With the camera. This video is about buying toys for children. And in the comments, he's going, oh, check out my spicy content. What the my girlfriend started crying because she caught me making OF content with my ex. Jesus, this content is absolute dog tear in it. Like and subscribe, bro. I'll start making shit like this, I, I swear. If this video doesn't get 15,000 likes, I'm, I'm making this shit.